for watching Numbskull News. And today I want to talk about Duke. Talking Duke to the Big 12. Now, there's a lot of people out there. A lot more than I thought that seem to think the University of North Carolina is so much more valuable than Duke. Now, I, I am willing to concede that UNC has more value than Duke, but is it really that much more? Now, we're talking when you're talking expansion, we're talking realignment. Most of this has everything to do with football. It's not about academics. It's not really what you bring uh, in any other sport, including basketball. Now, with the Big Twelve, basketball is more of a factor with the Big Twelve because that's the biggest way we can grow and make more money. With the SEC and the Big Ten. Not so much. It's pretty been made pretty clear it's about the football, the ratings, the viewership, and the premium matchups that you can bring. Now, Duke doesn't bring premium matchups at all. Uh, viewership has really been the drizzling shits. It really has been. As bad as the University of North Carolina's ratings have been, Duke's have been abysmal. All right, two years ago, they couldn't even get 100,000 viewers a game on average. Now, this is, I use a site called Medium. Uh, a gentleman in there, he tracks all this stuff, does the average viewership for every team in, in uh, Division One. Does a fantastic job. So, to me, that's the standard that I use. And Duke of the last two years have been like in the 90s when you're talking about rating the number one team in viewership you know in all of division one you're in the 90s the the lower half i mean not even the lower half like the lower quarter of all of college division one that sucks but duke has sucked for a very very long time but 2023 banner year duke had put put together a good season quality season and i want to get this let me get this right i have it right here they were number 33 in the country so they moved up 60 spots in one season 1.32 million viewers per game was that right? Yeah. 1.32 viewers a game. That is incredible for Duke. What does that say? And by the way, that they surpassed UNC by a lot this year. Which is typically not the case. Just let you know. Typically not the case with Duke. But what it says is Duke has the ability to get up there. To get ratings when they're good. Now, you can see that you know, with TCU. Or with any Big 12 school. When they're down, the ratings go down. When they're up, the ratings go up. It's like that for a lot of schools. Clemson, just to name one big time program. That when they're not as good, their ratings suffer a little bit. Oregon's another one. Now, do they get shitty ratings? No. But when they're good... They, they shoot up quite a bit. You know, same thing with TCU. Same thing with any of these other Big 12 schools. So, that was one big, one big answer to a question that I had when I looked it up. Is that, can, can Duke get decent ratings? They absolutely can if they put a good team out there. And I think if you put them in the Big 12, there would be reinvigorated type of team type of fan base that would be excited to be in the Big 12. And like, whoa, 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 we're in a conference, we have a chance to win? You know? <laughs> and we're we're a pretty good team? Holy crap, let's go. I mean, just look at what Kansas is doing, people. They're pulling down really good ratings as well with a revamped team doing well. So yes, historically Duke has been terrible. And the ratings have been terrible. Way worse than the Tar Heels. 
but they've turned that around. Can they sustain it? I don't know. But it's crazy, you know, because both Duke and UNC, you know, are fantastic academic brands. They're both basketball blue bloods. They're the best, two of the greatest brands you'll ever see. And there's not that many basketball blue bloods. Way more in college football. There's five, maybe six in all of college basketball. And that's way more conferences. So, and they're one of them. Right there with UNC, right there with Kansas and UConn. So yeah, Duke is a very special program and a very special school. A really good brand. And it just floors me that, oh, the Tar Heels are so much better. I'm based on... On what? Okay, Duke is a has a smaller footprint. They're a private school. UNC, you know, they're a large public school. So, I I guess on that basis, I suppose UNC is a bigger brand and a bigger deal. But I don't know. They're both. Both those schools have legendary status for a lot of reasons. I just, you know, I'm sorry. I, I don't, I don't really get the big, huge, overwhelming difference. It's a lot like, you know, the Tar Heels and the Jayhawks. There's not that big a difference. I mean, outside of, you know, academics, you know, even though Kansas is a great academic brand, but they're not on UNC's level. I understand that. Duke is on their level. They absolutely are on their level. They're on their level with basketball. That's the only thing either school is a blue blood in. You know, football, typically UNC is a little better in football. You know, but they're not, you know, they're not some great juggernaut. or They don't get these insane ratings and viewership, you know, Better than Duke typically, but Duke is now better than them. At least they were last year. I mean, people were talking about Duke like they didn't even have the value for the Big 12. And I don't mean to speak ill of the Big 12, you know, but it, it's not the value of the Big 10 or the SEC. I mean, the money is just vastly different right now. But no, Duke absolutely has enough value. And the value in the things that we're looking for. This is a team, this is a program, this is a school overall, an athletic department that can draw ratings. They showed it last year. This is a blue blood of the highest order when you're talking about their basketball program. Why would you not add them? When you've been talking Gonzaga, when you've been talking UConn, you mean to tell me you won't add Duke? Or people think, oh, the Big 12 will pass on Duke? That won't be an option? Are you shitting me? <laughs> I don't believe that for a minute. Not with Brett Yormark at the helm of the Big 12. Oh, we're going to go after ACC schools. Hey, we're on the phone with Duke. Hey, would you like Duke? Oh, no. Are, are, on what planet would you not want Duke? Duke, that basketball brand in this conference, I know realignment's mostly about football, but in football, they've shown they can get over a million viewers a week on average. They have that capability. So if they can do that, that is basically the going rate for a big 12 squad. That's what you're looking for. A million viewers a week. You know, we're not going to have the kind of programs that can get five, six, eight million views of viewers a week. It's not in the cards. We don't have the blue bloods. We don't have that. We don't need it. What you need are good brands that can get you good ratings. They're not going to be great, but they can be good. They can be solid. And is Duke a program? Are they an athletic department that can put a quality football team on the field. Yes. Yes, they can. And that's all I need to know. And you pair that 
with this legendary basketball program that's got Big 12 written all over it. That's all the value you'll ever need. Oh, but it's just a private school. So is TCU. Just a private school. It, <laughs> Miami's just a private school. USC is just a private school. So I don't want to hear that. Look, there's going to be an incredible opportunity for the Big 12. ESPN will be pulling out of the ACC. Their deal will be done in 2027. And Duke, to me, is just a no-brainer. An absolute no-brainer for a basketball-first conference. It's what we're best at. It's what the Big 12 is best at. It's basketball. And you don't want to add a blue blood? We're not even talking basketball only. This is a power four school. A legendary one. And don't don't try to sell me, oh, they won't come to the Big 12 because the Big 12 just is, is rancid shit. And they won't sully themselves with the Big 12. Yeah, they will. Yeah, they will. They would love to still be in a power conference after the ACC falls apart. Duke would want to be a part of a power conference. There's no SEC or Big Ten invite on the horizon. Their only option is the Big 12, and the Big 12 would be fools not to do it, and Duke would be a fool to, to just go to the Big East or stay with whatever this reconstituted ACC is going to look like with a bunch of G5s. All apologies to the G5s. But you don't have the value of Baylor or TCU or Oklahoma State or Utah or Colorado or, or Arizona or Texas Tech or West Virginia. You don't got it like that. Sorry. You know, and we don't have it like Ohio State and Michigan. Okay, <laughs> differences, and that's okay. It's okay. It doesn't mean Memphis sucks. It doesn't mean Tulane sucks or Rice. They all have. They're all important schools. They all have their own value. It's just different values. Duke would love to stay relevant, especially in. They'll be relevant in basketball no matter where they are talking football here We're talking overall athletic department you want to stay relevant come to the big 12 come to the big 12 so i don't understand the argument you know and i i hate to be in agreement with monty but he's right it's a no-brainer everybody wins with duke coming to the Big 12. And the way I see it, you're going to have Duke, the Blue Devils, and the Tar Heels will continue a conference rivalry <laughs> in the Big 12. Anyway, that's all I got on this crap. I'll be back with some more crap later. Bye.